everyone. Welcome once again to Kapitira. We have a lot to talk about this morning, but before we start, let's join our hearts in prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your word. Thank you, Lord, because it is alive. I pray, Lord, that as we talk about it this morning, that that you would allow us to treasure your words in our hearts. Lord, allow us, Lord, the, the discipline of really taking note and really remembering what you have to say to us, specifically in, in pivotal moments and special moments, just like we are in right now. And so, Lord, we commit to you our time together in your word. We praise you, Lord, and we glorify you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, good morning, and uh, I hope you, you have your coffee with you, and it's warm. Um, Today we talk about the word of the Lord, no? Um, first of all, I, I would like to thank you for joining me in this morning devotion. So we, we have been uh, doing this almost at the halfway point of this week. And I just would like to say I appreciate you joining me in studying the word of the Lord. Have you ever uh, experienced studying the word of the Lord? And, uh, and it, it, it's just so hard to understand sometimes that... Um, you know, you you open the word of the Lord and it just doesn't make sense to you. You know, a lot of times I experience that, and specifically this week as I'm preparing uh, uh, our devotions. No, and uh, what, one strange thing happened. Uh, not strange. It's 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 a special thing that had happened to me. So I was studying the word of the Lord, and and for some reason maybe I'm just tired and nothing's registering in my mind, and I, I prayed to the Lord, Lord. Would you allow me to understand what you have to say? And so, if you if you know me, the people who know me, uh, know that my Bible uh, has a lot of uh, things na nakasingit, no? Um, here, uh, sometimes they are receipts with some notes. Sometimes they are bookmarks. But in this time, while, while I was studying the Word of the Lord, uh, a piece of paper fell out of it. And, um, and it actually ministered to me. Let me share to you what it says. Piece of paper. I, I, I wrote this maybe earlier this year or late last year. But it says this. Patience is the capacity to accept or tolerate trouble or suffering without getting angry or upset. So, medyo, ano na, medyo blotted na yung ink. Now, maybe I spilled some coffee to it. So, sabi niya, patience is the capacity to accept or tolerate trouble or suffering without getting angry or upset. Man, I wrote this. I remember writing this. I, I wrote this for Splendor. It's uh, our once-a-month gathering of young professionals in GCF Makati. And we're going through the um, fruit of the Holy Spirit. And uh, this is my notes from the fruit of the Spirit that is patience. And it came at the right time when I was already losing patience in studying the Word of the Lord and just fell off of the page. You know, today I want to share to you the value of taking notes just like this. You know, even sometimes you can't read it anymore. There's great value in keeping notes just like this. See, um, our passage today in Habakkuk 2 verse 2, the Lord says to Habakkuk this, And the Lord answered me, Write the vision, make it plain on tablets, so he may run who reads it. And so, if you remember, Habakkuk was really eager to hear from the Lord and he was so frustrated because um, he was not hearing anything from the Lord for a long time. And, uh, and so finally, the Lord did speak to him and uh, ministered to him. That's what we talked about yesterday. You know, the Lord loves to hear our prayers and answer our prayers. And the first thing that the Lord said to him was to write the vision that he was going to receive to make it plain on tablet so he may run who reads it and so the first thing that the lord said to habakkuk no i'm gonna tell you something but i want you i want to make sure that you write it down um it, it, it's it's really good to think about it that way if we really struggle to hear from the lord and we really wrestle uh, to hear from him we have to be ready when he speaks and to record what he says to us kasi sayang naman it would go to waste no if he says something to us after wrestling with him uh, for a long time and then we we just forget it once we have heard it and so the message of the lord to habakkuk was to get a tablet and to write down the vision no um today um I want to do a pastor joke no today we have also tablets no so my challenge to us is to fill our tablets with spam spam messages from god uh, what what spam messages PRV spam uh, so fill your tablets with spam messages from God and ibig sabihin ng spam what does it mean number 1 um, write down notes uh, as you study the word of the Lord as you hear from the Lord any experience in your life uh, that are 
uh, simple, plain, accurate, and moving. So again, no? a simple, plain, accurate, and moving. Spam for short. Uh, look at look at the verse that we have today, and I'm gonna read it to you in various translations. No? It's it's very um, enlightening to read one passage. It's hard to understand uh, if you look at it in various translation. So Habakkuk 2 verse 2 in the Good News translation says this, The Lord gave me this answer. Write down clearly on tablets what I reveal to you so that it can be read at a glance. So the Lord is telling Habakkuk, I'm going to say something to you. Just write it simply. Make it really simple. You know, one of the things I look forward to every Sunday, uh, every every time I after I preach or we do online worship, I, I look forward uh, to uh, to a text coming from my friend Ernest. Now, Ernest has this new initiative. It's called Just Go Hit, where he goes in and um, he takes down notes from maybe lectures and classes, and and he writes that he draws the concepts down so that the people who are in the seminar could really visually understand what's going on. And um, I really appreciate it because whenever he listens to the Sunday messages or uh, cafeteria or some devotions that we do, he always doodles in his Bible. And after the service, he sends me pictures like this of his Bible. Now, for example, this is uh, his notes from our uh, sermon series in the book of Habakkuk. Now, uh, dear God, and you can you can see all the drawings that he put on there. And here are some other drawings that he did, um, you know, from our devotions and various messages that we had uh, at GCF Makar. If you want to follow his art, just go at Just Go Hit uh, on Instagram. And, and there's something valuable in doing it like this, no? Because at a glance, you just get to understand. You just get to understand what's going on in the text. So it's, what, you get a visual image of what the Lord is doing. So the, the idea here is make it simple. Uh, make it really understandable to you. Now, maybe you're not as uh, artistic as Ernest, but make it just simple. Sometimes just leave notes uh, on your Bible just like I do and, and just write down definitions and, and nuggets of truth you're gleaning in, your word, in the Word of the Lord. And you know, at the right time, it would be a benefit to you. So the first one is to make it simple. Simple messages, write it down. The second one is to make it plain. What does make it plain mean? Uh, Habakkuk 2 verse 2 in the NIV, New International Version, it says this, Then the Lord replied, Write down the revelation and make it plain on tablets so that a herald may run with it. So the idea here is uh, the message that Habakkuk is receiving from the Lord is uh, meant to be shared. So it's shareable or communicable or viral. You know, parang sakit. No, it's it's very contagious. So in in order for it to be very contagious, it has to be plain, meaning to say it's easily communicable. It's easily transferable. No, so anybody could could just remember what the Lord has said, and if you translate it to other people, uh, they could easily understand. Maybe that's uh, one of the heart and one of the reasons why we do this devotion. Ten minutes lang, so that you can easily understand what the Lord has to say. Make it plain. No. So S, simple, P, plain, and um, A means accurate. Now, that's the heart of it. Uh, you, we want to understand the word clearly and not, um, not dilute it or not add to it. In the New Living Translation, the verse says this, Then the Lord said to me, Write my answer plainly on tablets so that a runner can carry the correct message to others. So because the message is meant to be shared, we want to make sure that the message is accurate, the message is correct. No? And so uh, there's a, a process in studying the Bible inductively and uh, I would love to share that to you sometime. No? Pero make, make sure if you read the Bible, uh, really read it carefully. Make sure that you're getting the word of the Lord right, not just your emotions or not just the, um, some principles. Just look at the context and what is the Lord really saying and make it accurate. So when you write it down on your notes, you make sure that it's really correct, that that's what the Lord is saying in His text. And finally, um, Make sure that the message is moving. Uh, moving meaning to say it, it's stirring on the inside or encouraging. Uh, the ESV says it this way, And the Lord answered me, Write the vision, make it plain on tablets, so that he may run who reads it. So, because it is meant to be shared, and it's meant to be passed on, make sure, no, when, whenever you pass it, it's something that's stirring on the inside. That's the word of the Lord. No? Um, yung mapapatakbo ka in excitement, excitement uh, the word of the lord has resonance in your heart and so fill your tablets with spam remember um 
the word of the Lord is very important. Sayang naman, it would go to waste if, if we don't remember it. So, uh, make it simple, make it plain, make it accurate. Important, make it accurate and, and make make sure it's moving. No, um, during this quarantine time, I've I've been working on my notes and my notebook. Um, I have finished one already, and I'm working on this notebook. Um, the devotions on the on the book of Habakkuk are all here. So I challenge you: have your own notebook, fill your tablets with spam, and make sure that uh, it's simple, it's plain, it's accurate, and moving. Let's join our hearts in prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you, Lord, for the opportunity to study your word. I pray, Lord, that you would teach us the discipline of note-taking, especially when it comes to your word. Help us to keep it simple, plain, accurate, and moving. We love you, Lord, and we thank you for this day. We worship you in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Nice seeing you all. See you again tomorrow. Enjoy your coffee. Bye-bye.